DJ here with Real Gay TV here at the beautiful Orpheum Theater for the 8th annual Best in Drag show where the ladies strut their stuff and show us what kind of men they could be. Some of the celebrities in attendance you might see tonight are Kathy Griffin, John C. Riley, and others. So sit back, enjoy, and remember, most of all, think pink. and you're watching Real Gay TV. Hi, I'm Heather Tom and you're watching Real Gay TV. What, what attracts you to the best in drag competition? <laughs> well, honey, have you seen my dress? <laughs> Now, has anyone ever showed up wearing the same thing? No. <laughs> I would have to scratch your eyes out. I, am, I, I love this competition. It's always fun, and, and uh, the ladies always look so glamorous. The Best in Drag Show brings such an awesome audience because it's so over the top. How many fundraisers? Now, I'm not going to knock the fundraisers. Come on. There's a walk. There's a bike ride. There's a walk backwards and turn in circles. There's the dance-a-thon. All that are fantastic. But a drag pageant? Come on. Come on. It's so much fun. How could you miss it? We've got six contestants that fought really hard to get here, and it's just like, you know, uh, real contests. You get to judge them on bathing suit, evening gown, um, really? yeah, talent contest. <laughs> <laughs> It's really my favorite night in Los Angeles. It's dependably witty and brilliant, always. And uh, I think drag is such an old institution. I think it is the second oldest institution. <laughs> this is my second year, okay. and I have been looking forward to it for 364 days. I'm not even kidding. This is my favorite, favorite event of the year. So excited to be here. I'm the host. Yes, I'm so excited to be here. I was asked to be one of the judges because of my character on Glee and it has such a huge following here, I believe, they've, I've been told. So they wanted me to come down and play with the boys or girls. And no. I, so I am honored to be here. You have no idea. I'm like shaking. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till it was time to come. It's just a great cause and uh, I have an old friend of mine who directs the show so it's a chance to see him and just so much creativity and fun and it's a, it's a great charity. It's the biggest uh, fundraiser for AIDS related charities in LA. So, And it's 92% of the money goes to actually help the people who are in need so that's great. You gotta give them the old razzle dazzle for sure but these guys know how to do it. These ladies know how to do it. Um, I love the organization. I, we came here last year. I love the event. It's unbelievable the way that sort of the whole community sort of comes out and represents is amazing. And the costumes, it's, it's so much fun and for such a great cause. Now, as a fashion icon yourself, as a house bunny, are you looking to pick up any tips? Oh, yeah. I need to know how to like, get these boys. Uh, I have been coming to this event for years. It is the event. It's fun and it's over the top and fabulous. And I'm going to do a little offensive stand up. No. I wouldn't have it any other way. Hello, gays! I'm totally honored to be included and I'm really excited for the show. Now, can you tell us why a, a little bit about why the cause is important to you? Um, I mean, I I don't know who it wouldn't be important to, but I guess just like any, 
I've been touched personally. People I've known in my life have died of AIDS, and so I think that makes any cause more important to you. You know, you know I think I'm the last of the generation where we lost a lot of friends. The kids that are like 20, 21, they're not losing friends the way I did. So they just, they just don't know how serious it is. You know, and we need a big event like this to keep, to keep AIDS awareness right out there. It's still here. How do you feel about the recent rash we've been hearing about bullying? Oh, um, I think that it's, uh, it's, I guess, nice that we're finally paying attention to it as a, a national issue, um, I, that it's finally getting attention and, and, and that it's in the news. Um, you know, I mean, bullying is, it's just, it's gotten so mean-spirited in, in recent years, even more so than, than when I was in school. And it's almost like it's, we've desensitized ourselves to other people's humiliation. It's like it's a joke. And... Maybe we need to kind of take a step back and, and, and you know, take a look at how we're treating people and, and realize that this embarrassment, this humiliation, and, and trying to do that to other people is not, it's not funny. It's not something we should be, like, reveling in. But it's gotten to the point now where you think, God, do you want that person to kill themselves? I mean, you really have to think, what are, what's in the mind of these young, uh, these young adults, these 15 year olds, you're almost you're old enough to almost drive, you could have a baby, and you're behaving like that to another person. It's actually beyond me, it's unbearable. So. I think it's really sad, and I, you know, I do think we're kind of verging on a crisis with that. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, it's really, really heartbreaking. And I think we're living in a world today that is so different, even from when I was in high school, you go, you know, you've got, with face. Facebook and MySpace and all the rest of it, I, I don't know how kids are doing it. I really don't. Just get through the teens, get through those hormonal years, and, and you'll see that it gets better. And I think almost any teenager, especially teenagers and young, you know, 20-somethings going through um, a tough time, all need to be told that, you know, it settles down and in the end, some good will come of it. So, yeah. But um, again, the more of a dialogue that started, the better hope we all have of, of surviving it and surviving with grace. So I'm all for it. It's like, it's disgusting, despicable people that even allow their kids to think like this. And it starts at home. I honestly believe that, you know? And it's like, there's a lot of parents that need a good ass kicking. And then it needs to go right down the line. Because it's, it's, there's not one thing in this world that could say that any of that is okay, you know? It just, it, it breaks my heart, makes me want to cry, because it's, you know, we all want our place, and there's all a place for everybody. Yeah, leave the bullying to the coaches, and it's just acting, gosh dang it. I'm all a lover, I'm a lover. And so I just, I yeah. I have to take your word for it, because again, I'm still a little scared. Get over here. I'm a lover, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Any advice for Lindsay? Well, I'd say the advice for Lindsay is to not spend too much time with Tom Arnold in rehab. Because I heard he's in there at the same time, and that cannot be a good thing. Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> watching Real Gay TV. <laughs> hey, I am Linda Hamilton and you are watching Real Gay TV. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs>